All right, welcome back. We've seen how to convert polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates really easily, and that uh, that utilized those two formulas: x equals r cosine theta, and y equals r sine theta. Going in the reverse direction, we actually haven't technically talked about, and it's not quite as straightforward, but it is still pretty easy. So um, let's do a few examples here. Now, first thing I want to note is that is that I'm going to change the directions a little bit. It says that our angle that we use has to be in between 0 and 2 pi. I'm going to turn everything into degrees just for this, this example. So let's turn 2 pi radians into 360 degrees. So the angles we give have to be in between 0 and 360 degrees. All right, so now let's look at the point 2, 4. We'll plot that. So I like to do this somewhat visually. Uh, 2, 4 looks something like this. There's 2, 4. It's a big dot, but there's 2, 4. So to convert this to polar form, remember polar form, so this is in rectangular form, x comma y. Polar form, we need it to look like r comma theta, right? So we'll need an r and a theta. Now the r is easy to get because, as usual, we're going to make our nice right triangle and we're just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So this is a distance of 2, that's a distance of 4. So there's our r, so 2 squared plus 4 squared equals r squared. And so therefore this is 4 plus, so this is 20 equals r squared. And square rooting gives you that r equals the square root of 20. Alright, so there's my r. And the only other thing now i got to come up with is this angle. So again, my r here is square root of 20. I'll put that below. So the last thing i got to come up, for, uh, come up with is my, is my angle. And that's this here. So to come up with that, I make use of the fact that my angle is equal to tangent, tangent inverse of 4 divided by 2, which evaluated into the calculator gives me 63.435 degrees. So there is that point in polar form. Let's do another one, because there are some subtleties I just want to draw your attention to. So negative 1, 5. Negative 1, 5 would look like, look like this. Negative 1, 5. Something like that. Okay, and as usual, uh, I'll call this a 5, this distance negative 1, we need r, so negative 1 squared plus 5 squared is equal to r squared, and this turns into 26 equals r squared, so r is equal to square root of 26. Now we just need the angle. So again, um, the, the angle we actually want is this one. This has come up a lot in this course, um, but remember, the angle we want is the one, in this case, not in the triangle. But we actually have to use the one in the triangle to get this one, to get theta. So, I mean, let's come up with another letter for this, like, I don't know, A. And let's make a capital A. Angles are usually labeled with capital letters. Let's just call this angle A. So the tangent, tan inverse of 5 over negative 1 is equal to angle A. So A is equal to that. And that, of course, would give me, let's see, tan inverse of 5 divided by negative 1 equals... Now it says negative 78.69 degrees. Negative 78.69 degrees. 
Now again, you can you can actually kind of ignore the negative if you want. In fact, you didn't even have to put it in when you did tan inverse. You could have just done five over one, and you would have gotten as a positive answer. Um, you would have gotten seventy-eight point six nine degrees. So that's not critical. What's critical is that you understand that that gives you this. All that's telling you is that this angle right there, angle A, is equal to seventy-eight point six nine degrees. So if we really want what theta is, theta is equal to 180 minus 78.69 degrees. Okay, and when you do that, you get 101.31 degrees. Alright, so just be thoughtful about that. And that should make sense, right? If you rotate 101.31 degrees, again, the, the name of the game is you're always facing the positive x-axis to begin. If you rotate 101.31 degrees and walk out route 26 steps, it will bring you to the point negative 1,5 in rectangular coordinates. So let's look at the last one. The last one we have is negative 3, 0. So negative three zero is here. And so this time we don't draw a triangle, but it's actually better. Or this problem is actually better because I know my r. My r is simply this distance here. The positive version of that distance is just three. And what angle did I rotate? Well, that angle here is simply 180 degrees. And so we're done. In rectangular, uh, in polar form, that point is 3, 180 degrees.